The Albania national football team Albanian, e is the men's football team that has represented Albania in international competition since 1946 and is controlled by the Albanian Football Association which is headquartered in the city of Tirana. The team is affiliated with UEFA and competes in the three major professional tournaments, the FIFA World Cup, UEFA European Championship and the UEFA Nations League. Albania was the winner of the 1946 Balkan Cup and the 2000 Malta Rothmans International Tournament. At Euro 2016, Albania made its debut at a major men's football tournament. Albania scored their first ever goal in a major tournament and secured their first ever win in a European Championship, when they beat Romania on 19 June 2016. After its completion in 2019, the National Arena, Albanian, Arena Combater, will be the home ground of the national team. Albania's highest FIFA world ranking was 22nd in August 2015. The colors of the team are red, white and black, and the double-headed eagle its symbol. Its supporters are collectively known as the Tifazet Kuqez and display as well as the country's national flag colors, red and black. History Topic: 20th century. Although it never played any matches, the Albanian national football team existed before the Albanian Football Association Federata Shqiptar e Futbolit (FSHF) was created on the 6th of June 1930. Albania joined FIFA during a congress held between the 12th of June and the 16th of June. Albania played its first international match against Yugoslavia in 1946, which ended in a 3–2 home defeat at Kemal Staffa Stadium. In 1946, Albania also participated for the first time in the Balkan Cup in which Albania won by beating Romania 1–0 in the final. In 1954, Albania was one of the founding members of UEFA. Albania waited until 1962 to compete in a Euro Cup competition and the only time Albania was between the best 16 teams of the continent, the reason being Albania got past the first leg as Greece, for political reasons forfeited the game. At the end of the tournament Albania ranked 9th in Europe, Albania participated for the first time in a qualifying phrase of a World Cup in the qualifiers of the 1966 edition in England. The team was drawn in the Group 5 which finished in the last position with only one point from six matches. In the qualifiers of the UEFA Euro 1968 Albania had a draw 0-0 against West Germany that denied the Germans the participation to the UEFA Euro 1968 finals. In later years, Albania did not participate in the qualifiers of the World Cup 1970, UEFA Euro 1972, UEFA Euro 1976, World Cup 1978 and UEFA Euro 1980 for unknown political reasons. Again six years without playing any international match, Albania entered in the qualifiers of the World Cup 1982, and finished the group no longer last in the class, but revenges. Finland allocating the Nordic country to get the wooden spoon. The qualifiers of the World Cup 1990 were probably the worst qualifier in Albania's history as there were six losses in as many games with no memorable matches. Topic: 21st century. In the qualifiers of the World Cup 2002, Albania recorded a 2–0 win over Greece which was the only team that they beat during the qualifiers. Albania was able to make some impact in the qualifying of the UEFA Euro 2004 by beating 3–1 Russia at Loro Borici Stadium. This match was also the debut of the German coach Hans-Peter Briegel who led Albania to an undefeated run at home matches. Albania finished the group in the penultimate spot with only 8 points. In the qualifiers of the World Cup 2006 Albania recorded some historical results. Two months after Greece beat Portugal to win the European Championship, Albania defeated Greece 2–1 in a match which Albania scored goals in the second and eleventh minutes. In the qualifiers of the UEFA Euro 2008 Albania won two times in both matches against Luxembourg. Albania also drew 2–2 with Belarus and 0–0 away with Bulgaria. Albania's Euro campaign ended with a loss 6–1 away to Romania which resulted in the resignation of the coach Otto Beric and his assistant. 
On December 2007, Ari Han was named Albania's head coach by signing a two year contract for the qualifiers of the World Cup 2010, where Albania made a very negative performance by winning only one match. Albania won only seven points from ten matches and Han was replaced by Josip Kuz in May 2009 following the end of the campaign. However, Kuz couldn't lead Albania to the better results as the team ended the qualifiers of the UEFA Euro 2012 with only nine points from ten matches. With Cuse in charge, Albania recorded its second biggest win the history by defeating Cyprus 6-1 at home, equal with Albania's 5-0 victory over Vietnam in 2003. Josip Cuse parted ways with Albania three and a half years after he started the job, and in December 2011, Italian coach Gianni De Biasi replaced him. Albania started the qualifiers and was, at one point, second in group with six matches played, and four in hand, but failed to be successful in the last four, losing away in Slovenia and Iceland, as well as at home against Switzerland, and drawing in Cyprus. Albania started the qualifiers of the UEFA Euro 2016 with an emphatic 1-0 away win against Portugal, which was followed by a 1-1 draw against Denmark at the newly renovated stadium Elbasan Arena. After beating Armenia 3-0 in the last qualifying match, Albania made history by qualifying for the UEFA Euro 2016, its first ever appearance at a major men's football tournament. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Competitive record. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> FIFA World Cup Topic UEFA European Championship Topic UEFA Nations League Topic Fixtures and Results Topic 2018 Topic 2019 Topic Players Topic Current squad The following players have been called up for the 2018-19 UEFA Nations League against Scotland and friendly match match against Wales on 17 and the 20th of November 2018 all caps and goals as of the 20th of November 2018 after match against Wales. Topic: <laughs> Recent call-ups. The following players have also been called up for the team within the last 12 months and are still available for selection. Notesing equals not part of the current squad due to injury. U21 equals was engaged also with U21 squad. WD equals player withdrew due to private reasons. Flu equals player leaves the squad due to the flu. Equals Topic Personnel Equals 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 Topic Current Technical Staff Equals Equals Topic Stadiums In November 2013, Kemal Staffa Stadium was shut down by FIFA for not fulfilling international standards. Due to Albania being undeveloped and having very poor infrastructure, not a single stadium in Albania fulfills FIFA standards for international competitions. As a result, the Albanian government is upgrading Rujdi Bizuta Stadium of Elbasan named Elbasan Arena in time for the Euro 2016 qualifiers beginning in September 2014, and Loro Borici Stadium in Škoder in time for the October 2015 Euro qualifier against Serbia. <laughs> <laughs> National Arena 
National Arena Albanian, Arena Combater, is an under-construction all-seater football stadium in Tirana, the capital of Albania. This planned stadium will be the new home of Albania national football team and it will serve as a venue for major football club cup finals and other sports and non-sports related activities. The stadium was designed with a capacity of 22,500 spectators, making it the first highest capacity stadium for football in Albania. Ever since an initial stadium proposal in 2010, Albanian Football Association has had two additional stadium proposals that failed to be built. The stadium is planned to be completed by June 2018. Albania national football team began playing in September of the same year. The stadium will be built on the same site of Kemal Staffa, demolished in June 2016. The old Kemal Staffa was closed for demolition in June 2016, and the site will be redeveloped with a new larger capacity national arena. The final design of the new stadium was done by Marco Casamonti of Archaea Associati, and the construction is scheduled to be finished in 2018. It is expected to cost around 60 million euros. Topic: <inaudible> Individual all-time records. Below are two lists of the top 10 players with the most caps and goals for Albania as of the 13th of November 2017. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Appearances records. Topic: Top goalscorers. Topic: Captains. List of captaincy periods of the various captains throughout the years. Topic: Honors. Winners of eight Balkan Cup, Tirana, October 1946. Winners of Rothmans Football International Tournament, 2008, Valletta, the 4th of February, the 10th of February 2000. Topic: Supporters. Tifazit Kuqez English, Red and Black Fans, also known as the Albania National Football Team Supporters Club is a non-profit football supporters association for the Albania national football team and various national team sportive activities. It was founded on 25 December 2003. In cooperation with FSHF, it organizes trips for football fans to visit games, and develops and sells merchandise to support itself and fund sporting-related projects. Tifazit Kuqez stands firm in the political view that Albanians should share only one national team and have continuous aspirations to join in one state Nye Komb, Nye Kombater, i.e. unification of Albania, Kosovo, etc. In this sense, TKZ is joined by different supporters associations throughout Albanian-speaking regions mainly in Kosovo Shkipanjat of Peja, Kukezinjet e Jakovs of Jakova, Plizat of Pristina, Torchita of Mitrovica, etc., former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia Ballistit of Titovo, Alirat of Kamanovo, Shverserat of Skopje, etc., and in Albania itself Ultras Gorils of Partizani Tirana, Tirona Fanatics of KF Tirana, Vlasnit Ultras of Vlasnia Škoder, Ujkarit E. de Boers, English, Snow Wolves, Skenderbeu Kors, Shkipanjat of KF Besa Paji, and many other different Albanian fans. The ongoing dispute between the Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sports and the Football Association of Albania has been seen as a political intrusion by FIFA and UEFA, which led to the banning of Albania from international sportive activities. FSHF President Armand Duca is highly unwanted by the TKZ who have numerously asked for his resignation believing he is responsible for internal corruption in the Albanian Football Association. The TKZ have been praised by many different football players and managers, whom were not just Albanian. Switzerland's former coach, Otmar Hitzfeld was astonished by how many Albanian fans turned up and how enthusiastic they were in 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification UEFA between Switzerland and Albania where the Swiss won 2-0 thanks to goals from Gokhan Inler and Kosovo-born Jerdan Shakiri. He didn't believe that there was 12,000 Albanian fans in the stands which was more than how many Swiss fans turned up for the game. 
He stated Albanian fans are fantastic and the most passionate fans I have ever seen. During that campaign, TKZ attended all games Albania played apart from a match against Cyprus and Nicosia and were also large in numbers in the away games to Slovenia where they lost 1–0 and Norway where they won 1–0 thanks to a stunning goal by Hamdi Salihi. Media coverage Albania's qualifying matches and friendlies are currently televised by RTSH and Supersport Albania, a trademark of Digital. Head-to-head <inaudible> <inaudible> -head records against other countries As of 13 November 2017 <inaudible> See also